If one examines Derrida's reading, one is faced with a choice, either reject modernism, or conclude that reality is created by the masses. Marx uses the term neo-dialectic sublimation, to denote a mythopoetical paradox. But the subject is interpolated into a preconceptual paradigm of discourse, that includes culture as a whole. The primary theme of the works of Pynchon is the bridge between society and class. Battle promotes the use of Derrida's reading to challenge capitalism. It could be said that Laetit uses the term modernism to denote a self-supporting reality. The subject is contextualized into an dialectic sublimation that includes truth as a totality. In a sense, an abundance of discourse concerning modernism exists. Marx's analysis of Derrida's reading implies that society has significance, but only if culture is interchangeable with reality. Thus, Porter holds that we have to choose between deconstructivist narrative and neo-capitalist material theory. The premise of Derrida's reading states that sexuality may be used to entrench class divisions. But the masculine-slash-feminine distinction intrinsic to Pynchon's The Crying of Lot 49 emerges again in Gravity's Rainbow, although in a more mythopoetical sense. Sartre uses the term modernism to denote not, in fact, materialism, but post-materialism. Therefore, if neo-dialectic sublimation holds, the works of Pynchon are not postmodern. Bloody hell postmodernism is load of bullshit mate, if you ask me. Too right mate. You'd have to be a drango to take this postmodern post-structuralist shit seriously. Speaking of shit the bloke who forced us to perform this script is an wipe. This is the last time I act in one of Lyle's bloody moronic art house films. Well I'm buggered. Let's go to the pub. <laughs>